On Reserves Day, I want to say thank you to all of our reservists for their service to the Royal Navy and also to the network of families, friends and employers who also step up to provide them with invaluable support. Thank you. This year, a remarkable 238 Royal Naval Reservists and Royal Marines Reservists have mobilised into full-time service. 100 of you stepped up to support our nation on operations Rescript and Broadshare, the government's response to COVID-19 at home and in the British Overseas Territories. A further 138 of you mobilised into full-time service to serve at sea in offshore patrol vessels, protecting our interests at home and around the world. From the Falkland Islands to Gibraltar, from Singapore to the Caribbean. You mobilised into the Lead Commando Group on amphibious operations, and you served on enduring operations in the Middle East and elsewhere around the globe. To put that into context, that is nearly 10% of our total strength serving full-time alongside our regular colleagues in a single year. To you, the men and women who have mobilised this year or increased your level of commitment in other ways, I thank you for demonstrating that the Maritime Reserves provide a truly unique capability to Defence and the Royal Navy and can be relied upon to fulfil its mandate to deliver direct operational outputs at pace when needed. Reserves Day is an opportunity for us to stop and celebrate our people. They are our greatest assets. I've asked one of our newest joiners to share her views on why she values the Maritime Reserves. A.B. Sabamassi, over to you. Thank you, Mum. I feel really privileged to have joined the Royal Navy as a reservist. Having studied the impact of conflict at university, I knew that I wanted to be part of the solution and the Maritime Reserves provided the perfect opportunity to do this. I'm really fortunate to have the backing of my civilian employer, the Civil Service, who recognise the benefit of the skills I'm already bringing back to my day job. My employer can't be here with me today, but I'm joined by Kevin Gartside from Barclays. Kevin, you employ a number of reservists. Why are you marking Reserves Day? Thanks, Saber. I lead Barclays Military and Veterans Outreach Team, and being ex-forces myself, I hugely appreciate what the reserves provide the country in terms of their service and contribution across an array of activities in support of the regular forces. So it's only right to celebrate reservists on Reserves Day as part of Broader Armed Forces Week. I want to say a big thank you to all those who serve in the reserve forces right across the three services. As an employer, Barclays recognises the benefits of the training and skills that reservists bring back to our companies. And so we're very keen to support our employees as much as possible with their military commitments and their reintegration when they come back to us as colleagues. A good example of this is we supported one of our colleagues, John Will, when he deployed to the Middle East last year. Thanks Kev and thanks to my team at Barclays which supported me last year when I mobilised with the Royal Navy and served in Bahrain for six months, which was an incredible experience. I felt I was making a real difference contributing to UK defence and operations, but it was so important to have the backing of my employer and my family back home. It made the world of difference. Serving with the Maritime Reserves provides opportunities for adventure, personal and professional development and a chance to work with excellent teams for example, the public relations team that I served with last year in Bahrain. It's a real privilege to be able to serve on operations overseas. That sounds amazing. I'm really looking forward to having exciting opportunities like that. The last year has been a particularly challenging time for everyone in the Maritime Reserves, the Royal Navy and Defence. And I want to find out from the top what we have achieved as one Navy. That's why I'm asking the second Sea Lord why he's marking Reserves Day. Thanks, Sabre, and thanks to everybody um, for the opportunity to talk. Um, the first thing to say is I'm hugely grateful to everybody in the regular reserve, um, our civil service, uh, our contractors that have supported us over the past 12 months. The other thing I want to say is thank you to your families um, and to your employers because they give up an awful lot while we, um, we employ you for periods of time uh, and that goes for, again, the, the whole force. It's been a difficult year, we've achieved a huge amount, um, Carry Strike Group 21 is on the way, um, we've managed to maintain all our outputs without, without fail, we've not dropped the ball, uh, and we're in a really good place uh, as a service. And I want to make sure that we say thank you to you, your families, your employers, and everybody else that's been involved in the last 12 months. Thanks, sir. Enjoy Reserves Day. Back to you, Mom. Thanks, Sabre. And thanks to John and Kevin for joining me here today. And to you, our reservists, our families, our employers, I'm incredibly grateful for everything you do. Thank you. 
and I wish you all a very happy Reserves Day.